hello guys welcome back to my channel so for you guys that are following the shorter version of this is fate you know that the last update prita and aljun were dancing because aljun forced prita to dance with him but in the process aljun was asking prita stupid questions of how karan died and this got prita really angry and prita gave aljun a resounding slap i love that slap if you watch that part you will understand what i'm talking about <laughs> so let's continue from there Aljun comes to Prita and tells her that he knows where Karan is and he can take Prita to Karan. Prita is really happy and Aljun stretched forth his hand. Prita holds Aljun's hand but Aljun immediately hugs Prita so recklessly and he takes out a knife and he stabs Prita but it turns out to be Prita's nightmare. Prita wakes up shouting and she runs downstairs to the hall. Rishab follows Prita asking what is going on and everyone gathers in the hall. Prita begins to shout that he knows where Karan is and he wants to take her to Karan. Raki asks that who is Prita talking about. Prita says that she is talking about Aljun and everyone was shocked to hear that. Prita says that she is saying the truth that Aljun was here and he even stabbed her on her stomach and everyone should see her blood and she stretched forth her hand but she was shocked to see that there is no blood. Prita comes to her senses and she was shocked that everything she saw was in her dream. Rishab tells Prita that Aljun is not here and everyone here are only the Lutra family members. Prita begins to cry and Rishab says that he will not let anything happen to Prita and he knows that Karan lives in their heart and he promised that he would always protect his families no matter what. Rishab asks Prita to pull herself together and Prita begins to cry calling Karan's name in Aljun's house. Aljun is sleeping and he had a dream of how he told Prita that he is ready to die for Prita and also how Prita pushed him into the river and he suddenly woke up shouting Prita's name. Meanwhile, Rishab asked Prita to calm down because no harm would come to her. Shriti cries seeing Prita's condition and she says that Prita is saying Karan everywhere and what if Prita becomes mentally unstable because of this. Shruti says that they should take Prita to see the doctor because Prita is not able to control herself again. Karina says that the entire problem started from the day the priest visited their house and tells them that Karan is still alive and if they had known, then they shouldn't have let the priest come to their house. Grandma says that Karina cannot blame the priest because the priest only said what he saw. Grandma sits beside Prita and tells her that it was just a nightmare and Prita should stop thinking about Aljun. Prita says that she tried not to think about Aljun, but that is not happening because every time she tried not to remember Aljun, then the thought will still come back to her mind. Prita says that if they want her to forget about Aljun, then everybody have to cut off all ties with Aljun and they must not make any relationship with him. Rishab tells Prita that now they are in their house, so Prita is safe and they all will not interact with Aljun again. Prita says that Aljun is weird and she doesn't want him in front of her again. Raki tells Prita that maybe she is angry with Aljun because of the dance incident, but Prita says that that is not the case. Prita says that she can see hatred in Aljun's eyes and she is always uncomfortable around Aljun and Aljun looks really like a devil and she knows that Aljun has a hidden agenda for coming into their life. So Rishab should promise her that he would make sure that Aljun stays away from their lives. Rishab promised Prita that he would no longer let Aljun come close to them and he asks everyone to go and rest and everyone leaves. Mayesh asks Rishab if he is not going to sleep and Rishab says that he is not going to sleep because he have to do what Prita asks him to do and he will start working on how he would keep Aljun away from them all. In the morning, Aljun was sleeping and he had a dream and he keeps shouting that Prita should not kill him. Anjali comes there and calls Aljun and Aljun woke up shouting Prita's name. Anjali tells Aljun that Prita is not here and Aljun is just having a bad dream so Aljun should come downstairs for breakfast. Aljun tells Anjali that he couldn't sleep all night because he was thinking about Prita and he also had a nightmare about Prita now. Anjali tells Aljun that he is no longer Karan Lutra and he is now Aljun Surya Vanshi so he needs to pull himself together and be brave else his revenge plan will not be possible. Aljun looks at Anjali and he asks her to leave and Anjali leaves the room. Aljun walks to the window and he wonders why he is feeling restless and why is he not happy when he should be happy for torturing Prita but after that he is not even able to sleep. 
Anjali sees Aljun from the window and thinks that Aljun looks like a tough man from the outside, but he is really soft at heart and his love for Prita has ruined his life and he is miserable now. Anjali feels bad and she thinks that she cannot see Aljun like this, so she would have to do something. Aljun notices that someone is watching him, but Anjali quickly hides before he sees her. At the Lutra house, Risha brings tea for Prita in the room. Prita asks that why is Risha doing this when Girish is available to do it. Risha says that Girish would only bring tea for Prita, but he would not be able to ask Prita how she is doing. Rishab asks if Prita is feeling alright and Prita says that she is fine. Rishab says that he wasn't able to sleep because he was thinking that maybe Aljun doesn't mean harm for their family and it might be that they misunderstood his intention. Prita says that she is not wrong about Aljun because Aljun made fun of Karan's life and Aljun knew that they would get affected seeing the performance of Karan's death but still Aljun arranged for the performance. Rishab tells Prita that Aljun arranged this kit for Karan's fans so that they can get to see how Karan died. Prita says that she still thinks that Aljun ate them and that is why he is troubling them deliberately and she asks Rishab not to make any deal with Aljun. Then Rishab promised Prita to stay away from Aljun and Prita thanks him. In Aljun's house, Aljun walks down the stairs and Snigdak's grandmother asks him to come and have breakfast with them. Aljun says that he doesn't want to eat, but Snigdak's grandmother asks him to come and sit with them. Aljun sat down at the dining table and Snigdak tries to flirt with Aljun, but he shows his engagement ring to her. Anjali warns Snigdak not to flirt with Aljun because Aljun told her that he is a one-woman man and he is engaged to her sister Nidhi, so Snigdak should back off. Aljun stands up from there and Anjali follows him. Anjali tells Aljun that now, the Lutras might try to find out about him. So he should take his revenge before they find out the truth that he is Karan because by then he will not be able to take his revenge anymore. Aljun tells Anjali that he doesn't think that he can take his revenge anymore and Anjali was shocked to hear this. Aljun says that he meant to say that it would be difficult for him to take his revenge because Risha would not let him come close to Prita after yesterday's incident at the party because he really did so much at the party and everyone were really angry. Anjali says that if Rishab will be the problem, then Aljun should apologize to Rishab. Aljun gets angry hearing Anjali saying that he should apologize to Rishab, but Anjali says that what she meant to say is that Aljun should deceive the entire Lutra family just like how they deceived him. Anjali says that Aljun should start acting as a friend who doesn't mean any harm to the Lutras and after the Lutras has accepted him as a family friend, then after that, Aljun would then take his revenge from Rishab and Prita. Aljun says that he cannot do it because he is always not happy after troubling Prita and he doesn't like the feelings he gets after tormenting Prita. Anjali asks if Aljun still loves Prita since he doesn't want to hurt Prita and Aljun looks at Anjali in shock and he begins to think. Anjali asks if Aljun still loves Prita. Aljun remains silent. Anjali says that this silence proves that he still loves Prita, but he tells her that he lost Prita before, but now he ate her so much. Aljun says that he was worried because yesterday, everything happened in front of his family and he saw anger in his family's eyes and this hurt him so much. Aljun says that his mother at the beginning of the party spoke nicely to him, but she got angry at the end of the party because of the way he behaved with Prita and this makes him feel bad. Anjali says that if Aljun is truly angry, then his main goal should be how he would take revenge from Rishab and Prita. Anjali tells Aljun that he would feel good once he gets his revenge on Prita and he cannot miss this chance. Anjali asks Aljun to promise her that no matter what, he will take his revenge from Prita and Rishab and Aljun promised Anjali that he will take his revenge. Okay guys, revenge is screaming so loudly. Anyways, thank you so much guys for watching this video. Don't forget to like this video, share it to anyone you think might be interested. And I will see you all again in my next video. Bye guys.